Dynamic programming is just a fancy way of saying memoization or caching, remembering stuff to save time later. If you have already computed a function, map the given parameters to the result and you can use this information later without calculating the whole function again, if the parameters are the same. There are two ways of using DP, one in recursion and the other in iteration. It's easier to write it in recursion since each time the function gets called, you can check whether it's calculated before but often you will see the iterative approach used because recursion usually takes a lot of stack memory. Imagine you have an array with costs of landing at each city. The player is at index 0 and you need to go past the last city. You can jump 3 or 5 cities ahead, but when you land at the city you need to pay the cost. To check every possible way would be a nightmare. With recursion the result will be the minimum of the cost function at index plus 3 and index plus 5 at the cost of the current index. You can check whether you have calculated the function and just return the value if you have. It will end when the index is bigger than n. But if you want to simplify this problem with iteration, you need to start at the back of the array. We usually make another array named dp or cost. The cost array will tell you how much is the cost from any index i to the end. This way at index i, choose the minimum of the cost at i plus 3 and i plus 5 at the cost at i. This is done in linear time. If you can break any problem into smaller subproblems, it can be solved with dp. Wow, that's it. This has been dynamic programming in 100 seconds. Like and subscribe to support this series. Please.